viewers, today we'll be teaching you how to create splatter brushes in GIMP. We being me and my friend. Hi. Yeah, that's him. Okay, so your finished product will look something like this. As you can see, it has nice splatter effect. It looks like blood, maybe mud, goo, whatever you want your splatter to be. And it makes everything look better. As you can see on our desktop background, it looks something like this. And it makes everything look better. So now you want to, I'll show you an example of what you can do with the splatter brush. Um, if you take your new image, you take your paintbrush tool, set on your brush, and now when you click on the image, now when you click on the image, you can see we get a nice splatter effect. So now we're going to create a new image. Um, just going to use the default settings, it doesn't really matter. Now we're going to go to our layers dialog and click and create a new layer by clicking this page icon. Now make sure that is transparency and click OK. Now you're going to go to your paintbrush tool options, the tool options of your paintbrush, and you're going to set your brush to sparks. It looks like a little sun, sort of, almost like a fireball. You want to take that, and you're just going to scribble all over your image, roughly in the shape of what you want your brush to be, your splatter brush afterwards, except a bit thicker, because in the in the next steps, it gets vastly changed and doesn't really look like that anymore. So once you have your brush, I'll just use this, then you go to your Layers dialog over here, which you can also go open by going to Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Layers. So you go to your Layers dialog, and you see, um, making sure that your Sparks layer is selected, click on this little checkbox, and what it will do it, is it will lock the transparency, the alpha channel of this layer. So now your transparency is transparent. So um, now what you want to do is you want to change your foreground color to whatever color you want your brush to be. So, just to be a rebel, I'm going to use a nice hot pink color. It doesn't have to be black. Some people like black. I, I like hot pink. So, now click Edit. Fill with FG color. And what this should do is it should give you a very fuzzy impression of what you want your future brush to look like. So now, um, you want to go back to your Layers dialog and unlock the alpha channel that you just locked. Now go to Colors, Curves, and set the channel to Alpha. And so now, by moving the nodes, if you look at your image, then you'll see that it will give you a nice, harder edged effect. And it'll make it a bit thicker in some places, depending on what you do with it. It's totally your choice. You just mess around with these, and you get a very nice look. So once you're done, just click OK, and you're almost done. Now you want to go to your Layers dialog, and right-click on your background layer, and click Delete Layer. Now right now, you should have your brush on a transparent background. Now you want to go Image, Auto Crop, Image. And what this does is it cuts out all the unnecessary transparent areas. Now you want to click File, Save As, and Save As .gbr, and watch my Adding Brushes tutorial for more info on how to add brushes to GIMP. I'll put the link in the video description. Save it as a .gbr, and you're good. That's about it. Subscribe if you like this video, and thanks for watching.